Hi everyone, so today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Not really an episode, but I want to try to farm mangrove trees, which I haven't seen a good tutorial on how to farm these things. They're really hard to farm. And what I've got behind me is what I've seen from other videos, which is basically like the propagule with a dispenser for bone meal and then like five or six blocks out of dirt. And then they put mangrove roots around the top to prevent beehives from spawning. So this is kind of what I've seen. And uh, going forward, I want to try to figure out a way to farm these things that doesn't require any crazy amounts of redstone. Like, I want it to be fairly simple so that a mid game or, you know, sort of early game player could build it instead of like what I've been seeing, which are these like crazy, complicated, like multiple flying machines, super insane, wild things that there's not a tutorial. It's just kind of like, here's my thoughts. And it's like a big old thing. So uh, you can see here that <laughs> the tree just grew actually. So yeah, mangrove trees are really weird in the way they grow. This is a kind of small one, but they, you know, they have the roots that come out and then they kind of grow like diagonally with their woods. So they're really, really hard to farm. So I'm going to play around with some ideas and we'll see how that goes. So let's, let's get into it. All right, so let me show you guys what I have so far. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a propagule in here. And basically what it is is four TNT dupers and then four platforms for them to land on. So the bottom platforms are to blow up the bottom part of the tree and the top platforms are to blow up the top part of the tree and they're at diagonals so we can drop TNT on them no problem. All right, so here's a mangrove tree and uh, the idea is that we'll activate like one of the bottom ones and then we'll activate very you know soonish after uh, the other bottom one and they'll explode the bottom part of the tree. And then after that, we will activate the uh, top ones, but we want to do the bottom ones like a couple times just to make sure we get all the blocks destroyed. Uh, so there we go. We got the bottom half gone now. And yes, there are some losses of blocks. That's okay. Um, and then uh, we basically, after we've done that, uh, we can go ahead and activate the top two. So I'll do this one and then we'll go over to the other one and activate it. And the idea here is it'll blow up the top half of the tree and because the bottom's gone, all this stuff will fall down. And we'll probably collect it in like, I don't know, some sort of water collection system or something like that. It's probably the easiest way. Um, but this is what I've got so far. So I'm gonna try to wire it all up and figure it all out and we'll be back here in just a second. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not really a redstone guy. I am an engineer in real life, but not here. So this has hurt my brain, but here's what I've got. See that big mess of stuff down below? Let's go look at it. Okay, so let's look at this. So I've gotten it all rigged up. We have our orange diagonals and our red diagonals for TNT dupers up there. And then we have low platforms and high platforms. Reds are the lows and orange are the highs. Uh, down there we have just a quick bone meal thing that just makes the tree grow. And out here is the brains, which I just figured out to basically count and time things for the diagonals. So you have a button over there by your sort of setup and you press the button when you're ready to explode. And the button will send a long pulse here, which will fill up this counter. This counter will hold three charges in it basically. And anytime a pulse signal comes in through this line, the counter will go down by one. So what this line over here is, is basically saying, is the counter finished? If the counter is finished, then it will lock this whole thing up, which is what's going on right now. The counter has got nothing in it, no charges left, so it's locked up, right? Meaning this hopper clock here can't do anything. Here's the hopper clock from the sky, just in case you want to build it. And so the hopper clock's not active right now. But if it were active, meaning there are charges in there, then let's say there are three charges. Uh, this line over here will be deactivated, right? So the hopper clock will turn on and it will move over. It will send one pulse signal, which it'll actually send a long signal as it's counting over here. But this little guy right here changes that into a pulse, right? So turn on, pulse signal gets sent through and the pulse goes first over here back to the system to count down by one. And then also out here, which goes up to the TNT dupers, which will basically say drop one TNT, right? Uh, then it'll wait for a while. It'll wait 
as much as I think seven objects in there. So it's like 14 objects moving between the two. Uh, so it'll wait after it's dropped a TNT. And then after it's done that, it will uh, move again, right? And it'll send another pulse, which will count down by another one. So two now. Uh, and send another pulse, it'll send the second TNT. And then it will wait again. And then after it's waited again, it will send its last one, send a third pulse. This will now be empty. So that will turn on the line that's on right now. And that will lock the hopper clock. So it basically does one, wait, two, wait, three, uh, turn off, right? And to show that, we can go ahead and do this. So I'm going to put a propagule in front of this thing. It's going to grow a tree. There's our tree. It's kind of a wimpy tree, which for this is fine. And then I'll press my button. And that you see is loading up the clock. So it is now done one. So it's going to drop a TNT and explodes. Now it's going to do second one and TNT and it explodes. And now it's done the third one. So TNT and explode. And now it's done because it's locked up. So this does one side. So now I have to figure out basically that once this is all completed, then now do it over here. So I will be right back with that finished. Okay, so we're done, basically. I mean, you know, not exactly, but mostly. So just to run you through, basically there's a button down there. You place your propagule, it turns into a tree. Uh, you press the button when you're ready to explode it. It will come through here, charge up three times, and then based off of timing, it will do the lower platforms there, one, two, three, and then that'll explode the bottom half of the tree. And then after that's all done, it'll send a pulse through here, charge this counter up, and then go to this timer, and the top platforms will do one, two, three. So let's go ahead and look at it in action. So we get our propagule, and we plop it in here, and those dispensers there will turn it into a tree. I have the tick speed way up, so the vines are gonna grow really fast. Now we have a tree, so that's cool, but we wanna blow up that tree. So now we're gonna press this button, and we'll stand back, and hopefully everything goes to plan. And that got all rid of all of it, but just in case there's a third explosion ready to go. And all of that will cause all that stuff from the mangrove to fall down. You can see right now it's kind of falling on random stuff down here. I'll be moving all this. So for example, this orange line here doesn't need to be here. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Everything up until this point where the input is. But uh, then you can just put like a water collection system down here and like sure you're gonna have some losses like some stuff is gonna get caught on here um and things like that maybe the tnt will explode some stuff up here but ultimately it's way easier than mining the whole tree so that's kind of the idea and now i'm going to go ahead and build a collection system run it a couple times and see how many we get per explosion let's go okay and just because i know i would want to see it if i was looking at a redstone tutorial here is sort of the spacing of everything so here's a side view, so you can see the yellow and black blocks are kind of the heights of everything. These aren't exact, my wiring's terrible, but at least it gets it away out of the TNT. So this is my heights, this is what I did. Then if we get a top-down view, we can see most of the wiring, which again is very messy, but we can see from the top, uh, our input button, top middle, and then it goes down to our first clock, uh, which then leads to our output for the clock itself, as well as the timer. Uh, which then runs back in to do the input of the clock as well as the red and then the output of the first clock comes all the way down to a basically a long pulse to short pulse and then that goes into a pulse extender which then enters the second clock which powers the whole same system for the orange side so if we look at all those things by themselves we can come down here and here is the clock setup you can see sort of all of that. Um, feel free to pause the video to get a better look. And then here's our timer and our long pulse to short pulse. Don't know what to call that. Anyways, here's the hopper timer. I'm currently using seven blocks in there. Uh, and then our output comes over here and we've got our long pulse to short pulse and then a pulse extender. And then that comes over to our second clock, which uh, then goes over to our timer. And the output of that, uh, you can actually see the comes back over here. And then 
The output of that comes over here to the orange side. Then we just have a torch tower going all the way up to the top. And here is the top view, so you can see sort of the diagonals and our TNT dupers, which are just standard TNT dupers. You should be able to get the idea from here, as well as our top setup. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that's enough. Please let me know in the comments down below if you want like more of a tutorial for this. But this is our current state. Let's see how efficient it is. Okay, so I've got this set up. Let's go ahead and test it. There's a little water platform. It's really random. Don't mind it. But I plant a tree and I press the button and let's see what we get. Okay, so it should all be done now. I would recommend moving the TNT dupers up a little bit as trees can grow large enough to get too close to them. But um, I made some edits. We changed the water basin out to be <laughs> blast resistant. Uh, and I would just suggest moving things away from the TNT blasts as best you can. I also made this smaller so only smaller trees can form. So let's go ahead and try it. So that grew a tree. And the button's over here right now, which can, you know, move wherever. But let's see what we get out of that. Okay, so I've reduced the number of TNT it will drop by one. So now it will drop two. So let's go ahead and try it again. We're going to put a propagule in here. And there we go. It's got a tree. It's a big tree. We'll hit go. And I'm actually going to stand down here. All right, so there it went. That was four TNT total. We do have some mangrove wood just around here, which we can just hop around and pick up, which is kind of nice. And then let's go check below. Okay, so that time we got 10, so that's a lot better. Okay, so I think I have it working better now. So I've just changed the height of the platforms and also alternated the TNT a little bit more. So if we put a propagule in there and then we hit this button, uh, there are now just delays on, so like, there's the red diagonals, so there's a delay on one of them, and then there's, on the orange diagonals, a delay on one of those. So now it does one, waits a sec, two, waits a sec, three, waits a sec, and then four. And then we'll do the same thing for the top section. Uh, so one, two, and then three, and then I think I just blew that one up because I need to rate those up. but. Let's uh, hop around and see what happened. So you'll be standing down here, so you can just hop up here and collect this stuff that gets caught on these little platforms. And then you can drop down and go in here. So that time we got five logs and 20 of the roots, as well as propagules. So that's doing pretty all right. Uh, only things that need to change is I just blew up this entire section up here, but uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this, should I say, tutorial. More like workshop, but uh, if you did, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, that, that kind of stuff. With all that, I hope you guys have a nice day, and I will see you next time. Bye.